Me, me tummy, tummy much, much burn here. here. The internet's spiciest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Riff Raff record, the Pe Peach Panther. Riff Raff is a former reality television star, one of the most wild rappers in hip hop right now. His goofy delivery and hilarious bars have led to some fantastic singles over the past several years. But yet, I'm, I'm really yet to love a full length project from Riff Raff. And whether we're talking about an early mixtape of his or his recent commercial breakout neon icon, the number one issue always ends up being consistency. You can always count on Riff Raff to drop at least a couple catchy, very colorful bangers. Even in the case of this record, we had tracks like Four Million. Previously, I loved uh, Wetter Than Tsunami. Tip the wing in my jaw dance, or How To Be The Man. But then, usually deeper into the track list of a Riff Raff project, we might have a, a hideous auto-tune ballad or two, or maybe even a, a rap rock mutation like the song Cocaine. So with Peach Panther, I was hoping for just a little more consistency with Riff Raff, and in a way I got it, because there isn't anything on this project that's so outlandish that it's obnoxious. I think the closest Riff Raff comes to doing that is on the song Syrup Sippin' Assassin, which is an auto-tune ballad, very spacey, very woozy, but what bothers me about the track is that it's so underwhelming. Uh, Riff Raff himself says on the song that he's uh, sipping so much codeine he's about to fall asleep. Don't know why, you could just listen to this track and fall asleep. So it's almost like the problem I've had with a full-length Riff Raff project in the past has just been flipped. Instead of all these garish tracks that I can't stand to listen to because they're annoying, uh, I'm getting these songs that are just dreadfully boring. There's some serious snoozers in this track list, like Chris Paul and All I Ever Wanted. Just no oomph on these cuts. And even some of the harder-hitting tracks, while they're not exactly uh, auditory ambient, I wouldn't call them exciting either, uh, namely the song Only in America, which I think has one of the worst and most awkward hooks on the entire project. Only America eat the sauce! Riff Raff tries to make a, a weird point about his observations on the American way, I guess. I do give props to him on the line <laughs> about substitute teachers wanting to be battle rappers. It, it is true, it is a fair point. Just about everybody seems to have some kind of a hopeless dream that they're unwilling to give up on. So that track isn't entirely bad, and neither are some of the eerie bangers on this thing that have some decent features, like the song Mercedes featuring g Easy, or I Drive By with Danny Brown and Gucci Mane. The unfortunate thing about these cuts is that they are almost completely devoid of the trademark and gut busting sense of humor that has made Riff Raff such a fantastic artist to begin with. I wouldn't say Riff Raff is getting super serious on this record or personal or earnest. I mean, there's a few bars here and there where I kind of get that sense, but he's toned his tone down a little bit. And I think the result has been his verses sounding like that of just your average up and coming braggadocious Southern rapper. There just doesn't seem to be as much character or funny similes and comparisons and whatever coming out of Riff Raff's bars. Or maybe his shtick is wearing off on me, I can't quite tell. Regardless though, there's not really much denying the fact that some of the songs here, it really sounds like Riff Raff and company were out to lunch when it came to writing the choruses. Like on the song Shout Out to the Bay where they do a bit of a West Coast hyphy kind of thing. And uh, I don't like to think, which could've fooled me. It just feels like there was very minimal effort coming from Riff Raff on this one. The beats are decent, but without a good song or chorus to attach them to, uh, it's not like they're a selling point to the record. Riff Raff just failed to bring anything new to the table on this project, and I think he failed to even live up to the standards uh, that he had set so far in his career. Uh, he has some pretty big features on here, but other than that, there's nothing really exciting about this record. The best tracks on it were the teaser tracks. And I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm feeling a strong three to a light four on this one. Tran. Zition, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it, did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like. If you like, please subscribe, and please don't cry if you happen to. 
disagree with my review on this record. Though you can voice a comment down in the comment section if you want to tell me that you hate me and you so dead. Riff Raff, Peach Panther, forever.